Taliota champs. Now, let's have a look at these Surface products. This is everything you need to know. Now, I've been told it doesn't matter that it doesn't have USB-C or Thunderbolt. I'd really like to know in the comments, is this a deal breaker that it doesn't have Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C or don't you care? You have a like a Surface dock. I was actually talking to my wife, who is a Surface Pro 3 owner, which we just updated to the latest Windows and still goes along quite fine still got good battery life so these products do last a real long time and i said the new ones come out and it doesn't have usb-c or thunderbolt and she looked at me strangely like what are you talking about so let's take these products for what they're worth you can order the surface pro 6 and surface laptop 2 right now starting at 899 us thank god there's no four gigabyte model i can't see one anyway now when it comes to the surface pro 6 you have two options you have the regular consumer one and then you have the enterprise or business one now the difference is the business surface pro 6 is a hundred dollars more and it comes with windows 10 pro and if you just buy the regular consumer one with windows 10 home look in my description you will see a link to a cheap windows 10 pro key so you can upgrade from home to pro so check that out in my description but you also get v pro with the business one as well as windows pro and you also get some office stuff or whatever so if you're a business whether that's worth it to you or not i don't know but as a consumer you're probably better off just getting the normal one and then cheaply upgrade into windows 10 pro now i've just made up this specs table to just give you an idea roughly what you're getting with these products and as you'll see the surface pro 6 you get the eighth generation i7 8650 it's actually one of the higher end eighth generation cabby lake r processors now it's not whiskey lake if you go to the right on the right hand side you'll see the xps 13 comes out with the new whiskey lake that's ready to drop anytime soon it's not a big performance difference between the two. It's just a little bit more refined, a little bit more power efficient, a little bit faster, and actually supports 16 lanes of PCI Express versus 12, but it doesn't really matter with the Surface products because they're not using those lanes anyway. Also, you protect it against the first Spectre with the Whiskey Lake CPUs that you can get on the XPS 13. Other than that, I doubt you'd notice the difference between using both of those. They are both quad-core, powerful parts, 15-watt parts. They all have up to 16 gigabytes RAM, if you video edit in stuff like that you have 16 gigs is good eight gigabytes is a sweet spot but you cannot upgrade the ram in any of these so make sure you get the amount of ram you can i would say try and get the 16 gig if you can intel hd graphics it's not iris graphics so there's nothing special there both the surface pro 6 and the surface laptop 2 come with 3 by 2 displays so you get a taller display which i really do like they're both touch and pen support now with the xps 13 you can get a touch 4k display you want but it is 16 by 9 all of them will be great displays now with the Surface products you get DisplayPort out, USB 3.1 and with the Surface Pro 6 you do get a micro SD but with the XPS 13 you get you know two Thunderbolt 3s, micro SD, USB C's, you get a lot of ports up to one terabyte storage with all of these but with the surface products the surface pro 6 and the surface laptop 2 you will not be able to upgrade the m.2 ssd with the xps 13 you can now it may be possible on the surface pro 6 but they are sealed in but it's literally impossible on the surface laptop 2 because you'd have to rip the actual keyboard cover to get to the ssd so pretty much i would say with the surface products they're all sealed in so don't think you can just easily upgrade them you can't now with the xps 13 you can upgrade the ssd and you can replace the battery and it's just a matter of taking some screws off now when it comes to weight the surface pro 6 is really light and thin 8.5 millimeters and 784 grams with the type cover it's just over a kilo so 1033 grams wow now with the surface laptop it's a little bit heavier than the xps 13 and it's quite a bit thicker too so the xps 13 is really thin and light it's not like the surface laptop is like heavy like say you know the macbook pro 13 which is pretty bulky and heavy for its size battery life will be killer on all these all of them have great battery life remember with the 4k on the xps 13 the battery life is not as good as if you get the full hd version but all of them are going to have 10 hours plus battery the battery life is going to be awesome quad core power it is so good to have quad cores on these 13 inch laptops or, or surface tablet it's just game changing now should you upgrade if you've got a surface pro 3 not really you don't really have to upgrade unless your battery's dead and it's running 
in like a dog because my wife uses Surface Pro 3 and for what she needs, she doesn't need to upgrade. Now, I have ordered the new Surface Pro 6, but there's no need for me to do that. The dual core is perfectly fine for what she does. Also, the battery life is still good on it and I've put new windows on it and it runs really good. So unless you're doing heavy duty tasks where you're going to use those four cores, then it will be worth upgrading because these do have better displays, more contrast, they're brighter. Also, the cooling's been worked on with the laptop. I never really noticed any major thermal issues with the Surface products anyway. They they were pretty good in that regard. So these things are powerhouses. And when you think about the Surface Pro 6, how light it is, 784 grams without the type cover, you know, that's easy to carry around. So when it comes to the Surface Studio, well, not much more I can say about it. It now has USB-C. You can have a GTX 1060 or 1070. Also have, which is disappointing for me, a seventh generation quad core part in it. It's a 45 watt part. They could have easily put a six core 45 watt part in it. You know, what's in the MacBook Pro or XPS 15 or something like that. They could have done that. They're both 45 watt parts, so heat wouldn't have been an issue. But they've gone with seventh generation for whatever reason and you're using quad cores. I would have bought it 100% if it had a six core because it's definitely up to date with the graphics and it would have been a super powerhouse with a six core in it. But with a quad core, yeah, it's still okay. That was a deal breaker for me. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And until next time, guys, tally ho.